everybody, Cal Bunkley here, coming at you with another satisfactory guy. And today, we're going to be talking about how to get more out of your satisfactory experience. And it's going to come down to one tip only. And our one tip is... To enjoy it. Don't let anybody tell you that you're playing the game wrong. The beauty of satisfactory is that there truly is no one right way to meet your quota. And if you want to feed every part into all of your machines by hand, you can do that. If you want to optimize your factory down to sending 20 screws across the map, because it would be wasteful to do otherwise, you can. How you play the game should be up to you. The only thing you're required to do is meet the space elevator quotas, and how long that takes is entirely up to you. The only limiting factor is power in the early game, but once you unlock and automate coal power, there really is no limit to how you can set up your world. At that point, the only resource you're spending is time. What helped me realize that it doesn't really matter how you play was when I started getting further into the game, I began looking up how other people set up their factories, and I noticed a debate between load balancing and manifolds. Now, for those that don't know, load balancing is a technique where you split your resources evenly using a series of splitters to ensure that everything gets loaded evenly and at the same time. The downsides include how much more complicated it gets as resource loads increase and the ludicrous amount of space it takes to set all of it up. For example, Look at how much work it takes to split things into five machines. And it only gets worse from there. Manifolds, on the other hand, are a far more compact and aesthetically satisfying way to get your resources into machines. It's simply a line of splitters that feed into each machine down the line. However, they come at the cost of taking a while to start working at 100% efficiency. See, as each resource is split, 50% of the resources move on. By the next splitter, another 50% move on, which is only 25% of our initial amount. And this process repeats, so you're going to have to wait until each machine fills up completely in order to move on to the next one. If you're okay with waiting the startup period, you can have a far more compact factory in the long run. See, I think the splitter manifold debate perfectly encapsulates what I love about this game. They both do the exact same job, but which one you choose comes down to your own sensibilities and what you feel is best for your factory. This sort of flexibility really applies to the majority of the game. Now people will try and tell you how to optimize every product down to the decimal, but really it's quite simple to set up most of it. But if you want to build a tower dedicated to making nothing but iron plates, then the only thing stopping you is you. And if you really care about being 100% efficient, then there are plenty of guides and websites like SatisfactoryCalculator.com that can help you with that sort of thing. Enabling player choices like this drives a lot of the game, and it opens up a lot for player freedom. And it's one of the many, many reasons I love it so much, even with my comparatively minimal playtime. 